Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? I'm Siddhanto with WWE and today I'm gonna discuss about a really important person, wrestler, Dean Ambrose. So, uh, people can say that AJ Styles has been the talking point, the biggest superstar of 2016. But let me get this fact straight. When AJ Styles debuted at Royal Rumble this year, 2016, and he was engaged in a match uh, in the, with Chris Jericho in WrestleMania 32. Uh, I've been a wrestling fan this whole year, and I know what has been up on internet, at the IWC community, what they liked, what they didn't, and what was going on. So, and I observed that nobody, you know, very little cared for AJ Styles. And it was basically because all those comments were directed towards Ambrose. His feud with Brock Lesnar was just the hot, hottest, you know, thing that WWE did in this year. Apart from like all the things that they uh, worked out with AJ Styles. But I think that the biggest oper missed opportunity that WWE has done is this uh, WrestleMania street fight with Dean Ambrose and Brock Lesnar first of all it never should have ended in a squash match or, or the the way the match was you know Chainsaw and Barbie either don't promise us these things or like deliver if you promise or the build up was was picture perfect and Dean Ambrose was really over but Dean Ambrose should have won so uh, with that in fact it was just a reminder of like Dean Ambrose was a good superstar in 2016 I mean it was probably the best year in his life he won the WWE heavy heavyweight championship so in this video I'm gonna discuss why Dean Ambrose is booed nowadays first reason is that people say he's floppy lazy and uh, you know on the mic is okay like just a cable okay but he's just lazy and sloppy and like his arsenal is very limited but I think I, I have been running down to the internet and uh, the comment section on, of YouTube to be particular uh, to see what people had to say about Dean Ambrose and what I observed is that the most the most people who started hating on Dean Ambrose was when he feuded with Dolph Ziggler in SummerSlam this year and I don't I don't know exactly why but I think that the reason is the interview with Stone Cold Steve Austin where where he called that Dean Ambrose rests on his laurels and and you know means called him a lazy wrestler and that he was not giving his best but uh, you know it's just wrong thing I never saw a person means very rare who said this about Dean Ambrose before the the Dolph Ziggler in that interview thing and I think it's completely ridiculous and that people would make a comment that you know he was overexposed and and he was he was uh, lazy from the first day it was just that people were not complaining well I don't give a shit the f fact is that the WWE crowd is really expressive as I would like to say and and Dean Ambrose problem was like this interview in my memory and that world heavyweight championship run yes WWE screwed him up a little bit uh, much yes and that AJ Styles was much too popular but you know Dean Ambrose doesn't deserve to be booed in my opinion and and I'm gonna create a I'm gonna create a part two for this uh, so in my in this video my main motive is that Dean Ambrose doesn't deserve to be booed. I know that is this character has lost all his heat after that WrestleMania 32 showdown, but but WWE can reinvent himself, uh, making him a heel and like not limiting his mic skills. I mean, he's really great on mic and he can. He's just the man best. He's just the best, and he was he was scheduled to be. The next Daniel Bryan, if that WrestleMania 32 shit didn't happen and that interview didn't take his ass off, but still, I think Dean Ambrose is the best and deserves to be called the best. And he doesn't like belong in mid card, but it's a place more suitable for him. So I'll describe the other things in the next part. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.